couple of weeks ago, we looked at the most popular sticks in the National Hockey League. So today, let's analyze which skates are worn the most by players in the NHL. The information in this video is again tracked and measured by the fine folks over at Gear Geek. Gear Geek currently has data on 733 skaters who have played in the NHL this season, and they showcase all the information and much more on their website. We all know that the game is the fastest it's ever been, so let's take a look at the piece of equipment that allows these physical freaks to fly around the ice at breathtaking speeds. If you recall from the stick video, there were five different equipment companies with their twigs in the NHL. Bauer, CCM, Warrior, True, and Sherwood. However, when it comes to skates, there's only three companies to consider. Bauer, CCM, and True. As a diehard hockey fan who spends far too much time consuming the game through all outlets, I knew coming into this research that Bauer would be the most popular skate brand, but I had no idea that it would be such a landslide. As of today, November 26, 2023, 67% of the NHL wears Bauer skates. 67% absolutely insane. 22% of the NHL wears CCM skates, and then just 11% of the league wears true skates. So now that we know the breakup of the brands, let's dive into specific skate models. The Bauer Supreme Mach is the most popular set of wheels in the NHL, with 20.83% of the league wearing them, or 151 players today. That's right, this one Bauer skate model is just 1% behind the entire CCM brand when it comes to percentage of the league. According to Gear Geek, Nikita Nikita Kucherov was the first player to debut the mock skates in September 2021. Other notable players wearing these skates include Kale McCarr, Jack Eichel, Eric Carlson, and Kirill Kaprizov. They are sleek, all black, and have great feel from my limited experience wearing them. The Bauer Vapor Hyperlite 2s are the next most used skate model in the NHL today at 19.31%, 140 total players. David Pasternak of the Boston Bruins was the first guy we saw wearing this updated model in April 2023, and since they've caught on pretty quickly. They look very similar to the original Hyperlite, which we'll touch on in a little, but the tongue is quite different and they feature the new Power Fly holders, which are now the gold standard. Aside from pasta, these jets are worn by Matthew Kachuk, Roman Yossi, Jack and Quinn Hughes, and the legend himself, Jan Ruda. In honor of me sneaking a Jan Ruda reference into this video, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support the brand and show us you enjoy this type of content. The original Hyperlites, as teased, are the third most popular skate in the show, with 18.48% of the league, or 134 players rocking them. I think we'll see more and more players shift to the Hyperlite 2s as the season progresses, but today they are worn by the likes of Anze Kopitar, Trevor Zegras, Steven Stamkos, and fan favorite Vinny DeHarnay. After the three sets of Bowers, there's a significant drop off to fourth place, as only 43 players, or 5.93% of the NHL, wear CCM's Jet Speed FT4 Pro. Austin Matthews first debuted these at the start of the 2020 20 21 season, and they were viewed as a good step back into the battle against Bauer as they had an all new look and fit for CCM. Nico Heischer, Keandre Miller, Corey Perry, and rookie Matthew Potras wear these skates, despite them not being the newest in the Jet Speed lineup. In fifth place, True makes their first appearance with 5.79%, or 42 players, using the True SVH custom skates. Mitch Marner was the first to be seen in these in October 2022, and they have been lauded for the complete customization that they offer. Frankly, to me, this model looks like most of the other true models, but it's the fit that sets them apart. Zach Hyman, Ryan O'Reilly, Mason Marchman, and Nick Delorier are amongst the others wearing these wheels today. The more recent addition to the Jet Speed lineup, the CCM Jet Speed FT6 Pro, sits in sixth place on this list with 40 users or 5.52% of the show. Austin Matthews was again the first to debut in these, wearing them in a September 2022 preseason game. The design is basically the same as the FT4 4 Pro, but the tongue is redesigned and the dial on the holder is much new and bigger slash easier to use. Matthew still wears these himself, as does Miro Heiskanen, Tage Thompson, and up-and-comer JJ Paterka. These will continue to be worn increasingly until CCM drops a newer option. Again, it was a pretty good step in the right direction for the brand. So after these six models, there's another big drop-off. The Bauer Vapor 2X Pros are worn a bit, as are the CCM SuperTax AS3 Pro and the Tax ASV Pro, which is actually what I wear today thanks to CCM, but the vast majority of the league is wearing these top six pairs that we discussed. For some added fun, let's look at some of the unique 
skate models that are worn by only one player in the NHL. As Gear Geek recently posted about on their social medias, Marcus Johansson of the Minnesota Wild currently wears Bauer Vapor X5 Pro skates, which are far from a top of the line pair. Personally, I'm assuming he wears these as a thicker, firmer skate. When you look at the two side by side here, you can see the added thickness around the heel flap and the tongue and the cuff, but it's still really unique to see somebody in the NHL wearing this model of skates, especially with the customization options available to them. Charlie McAvoy currently rocks the Bauer Supreme Shadow Skates, which will be the next pair up after the Bauer Supreme Mock. So far, he is the first and only player to be caught wearing them. Lastly, Casey Middlestad of the Buffalo Sabres is the only player in the NHL wearing the true hazardous pro skates. They're pretty slick looking skate in my opinion. We'll see if any of the other true guys transition to these boots this year. So what's the main takeaway of this video? Well, there are a lot less skate brands and options than we saw available in the stick video. Not to mention, skates are able to be so customized and tailored to your feet these days that I could argue the model doesn't matter as much as it did in the past years. They still all have their unique features and they have different fits and sizes and shapes, etc. When trying to choose skates, I would say it's definitely important to know and understand what type of skater you are and what you're looking for in a skate. If we take CCM, for example, they have three different lines of skate models, the rib core, the jet speed, and the tax. According to CCM, the rib core line is built for agile players who move quick and waste no time getting on their edges. The jet speed line is designed to be lightweight and more comfortable, providing more energy transfer for faster, shorter strides. The tax, on the other hand, is for players with stronger, longer strides who are hoping to get more power. This is a much stiffer boot than the jet speed or the rib core line. If we look at Bauer, they have two main lineups, the Vapor and the Supreme. The Hyperlite falls in the Vapor category and it's built for the quicker, agile skating style. The Supreme lineup with the mock and the shadow that McAvoy's wearing, these are built for a longer, stronger, more powerful stride. So again, a little bit stiffer boot, whereas the Vapor Hyperlite is focused more on the flexibility, the edge work, etc. Skates are extremely customizable today when it comes to being a good fit that's shaped towards your foot. However, you still need to know what type of boot, blade, holder, laces, tongue, etc. you're working with, as each different model line has its slightly different, unique tendencies and, and fits. But my main takeaway is just how much of a stranglehold that Bauer has on the skate market. It's super impressive. Bauer skates have very high reviews from players not only in the league, but beer leagues and minor hockey all over the world. On the other hand, with CCM getting better in their offerings and true being so customizable, I'd be interested to look back at this battle three to five years from now and see if Bauer still has such a stranglehold on the competition here. Let me know in the comments down below what skates you wear. What did you wear growing up? What's your favorite pair of skates you ever had? I remember I always used to rock graphs when I was really little. I've been wearing Bauer's for quite some time and like I said now I'm in a set of custom CCMs. Once again, thanks to Gear Geek for doing God's work and tracking all of this data on their website. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next week.